Ted and I have been married 19 years come October. And when we first got married, we decided that he wanted to direct and I wanted to act. So we said, let's make a movie. And after what seemed to be a surprisingly easy task for some 20 year olds, <laughs> we soon entered the world of post-production. Not that easy, not that fun. The memories of licking stamps and mailing hundreds of movies from our spare bedroom kind of threw me over the edge. And although it got completed and sold, we vowed never to do it again until we had distribution first. So cut to 15 years later and St. Vincent. Um, the two lead characters in the film were Vin and Oliver, played by Bill Murray and Jaden Lieberher. And Ted is going to share about the inspiration of Oliver, and I'd like to share about the inspiration of Vincent. Um, the character Vincent was based off my father. I say this with love and adoration and pure thankfulness that this man was in my life. And I'll try to keep this short. My father and I, we didn't have a relationship growing up because he left when I was very young. Cut to adult life. I took a class when I was in my late 20s that inspired me to get back in touch with him. And I wrote him a letter, left my phone number, and the day he got it, he called me. And he called me every day after that until the day he died. Um, we became very close in the 10 years we had together. We healed a lot of pain, and I was so thankful and gra grateful that he entered my life again. But when he passed away, I was the only one in my family out of five children who had reconciled our differences. And out of all this, I was the only one at the funeral that was really sad to see him go. And I could see on my siblings' faces the questions, what were we doing here? Why were we even giving this man a special service? And after everyone left, I realized no one would ever know my father was a great man that had value and that his life meant something. And I shared with Ted my feelings about my father. And I was most struck by the fact that even though he was an old curmudgeon, who hated his neighbors and drank too much. He mattered. Um, not many people got to see his beautiful smile and spirit. He usually walked around with a little chip on his shoulder, but he was the type of man that when he did smile, he lit up the whole room, much like Vin. In the last two years of his life, I watched him transform into a beautiful, angelic man who warmed everyone's hearts in the hospital. He was truly loved by everyone. I thought, <laughs> I didn't want to cry. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I said, Ted, I can't read this. I'm gonna cry, this is awful but I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Okay, so, okay, where am I? So I thought, I thought he finally became the man of God he always wanted to be. And so this was Ted's inspiration, to have a character in the film that we might all relate to. A character that has flaws in the face, in life that can sometimes be very tough. Our hope was to touch people's lives before their deathbed, to remind people that no matter what our walk in life is, we all have value and we all matter, and to maybe soften our edges before it's a little too late, or to have compassion and understanding toward those who have a rough time. Our life means something no matter what our journey is while we're visiting this lovely place called Earth. So this is just one of the stories that Ted so delicately wove together to create a film that I personally think is timeless. Ted has such a way with storytelling, he can touch our hearts without overdoing it. He can 
stay truthful and crass without being too crass. And he's able to capture the truth of the human spirit and bring it to life in a way that transforms not only the character, but the audience. And after 19 years, we are technically an old married couple. But that, if that means having a kind, understanding, loving man to endure this life with, I'll take it. I'm here to introduce my talented, witty, big-hearted husband, Ted Nelfi.